All right, let's talk about the actual merge node and then get into some operations and some other things relative to just the node itself. So if you bring in a merge node, you look at it in the properties bin, we have a few options here. Operation's a big one. Operation is what type of merge is this tool going to perform? And you can see we have quite a few options in here. If you actually hover over, the help dialog will show you the actual math that each of these merge operations is using. I would familiarize yourself a little bit with this. And one of the really important things to note is some of these are actually the inverse of others. And we'll go over that in just a second. Video color space, this is a specific option when you're working in composite modes, trying to emulate other tools. And you can read about that in the manual or in the help right here. Set bbox. bbox stands for bounding box. Bounding box is where only pixel data exists. And depending on the format, bbox and format aren't necessarily the same. So your format is defined by the image sequence itself or by your preferences for that project. Bounding box is established by what pixels actually contain data. So if you're using a roto shape or if you're using an EXR that's been pre-multiplied and has a managed bounding box, your bounding box isn't necessarily the same as your format size. This just lets you set what type of interaction your bounding boxes from your two different inputs are gonna have. Union just takes the largest of both. Intersection only takes where they overlap each other. A just takes from A and B just takes from B. Metadata from, so this tells Nuke which side of the image stream to pull the metadata from. Um, this actually is a really important thing because you always wanna have your merge operations where your B side is connected from start to finish. Because that way you don't have to do any metadata, or, which is time code or layers. You don't want to have to manage that separately from your actual node tree. So having a B-side connection from your original read to your final write is a really handy thing. And this just lets you change that if for some reason you need to inject meta metadata from your A-side. Same for range. Again, usually you're, you have one main plate that serves as your hero plate. And so this will allow you to dictate if that meta or if that range is coming from B, A, or all in some cases. Next up is the channel management. Usually you're not going to mess with this too much. There are cases where you might have an image sequence that has multiple channels that are not RGBA. And in that case, you might want to operate, you might want to make some changes in this also merge. And this allows you to pick either all or specific layers that you want to merge through that merge. Next up is mask. Um, this actually isn't something I use often because I like to work in a pre-multiplied workspace. And what that means is that if I'm masking something, I'm masking it before I merge it into the main tree. So let's talk about the actual merge operations a little bit. And this is why talking about transparency is so important. So the way these are built is the capital A stands for the RGB. The lowercase stands for the alpha. So in this case, on a top, we're multiplying the RGB of A times the alpha of B. And then we're adding it to the RGB of B times 1 minus the alpha from A. And you can see all of these have a little bit different formula. And I'm not going to go over all of these, but I am going to highlight just a few of the really important ones. So the big ones that you're going to see regularly are over and under, stencil and mask. And then you're going to use some of the general math ones like minus and multiply. Uh, something else to really be aware of, a lot of these are the inverse of each other in terms of their AB relationship. So for example, minus and from, it's the same math, but the orientation of A and B are opposite of each other. Um, this is an important thing to note because some things do the same thing, but you do wanna keep the B input connected from start to finish. So I do see from time to time people use from, or if you look at out, out and stencil have the same relationship. They're the same mathematically, but their relationship to the inputs is different. So in our case, we would never really want to use out because of the way it's doing the math breaks the B side chain. So those are really our main input processes. 
So let's actually look at them and see what they're doing. So in this case, I've created a little template. So we have our B and our A image, and then I've added some color to them so we can see how they're going together. And you can see that we have a solid alpha for both of these. So let's start with over. So this is over. And this is one of those where, again, alpha becomes important. So say we actually went and shuffled out our alpha. If we made our alpha black on both of these, and it doesn't have as much effect on the B side because we aren't doing any math relative to the B side alpha. But if we copy that and paste it to the A side, you can see that now we're effectively just getting a plus. Because if you remember and you look back at the math, what we're seeing is now A plus B. And in this case, if our alpha is zero, it's just A plus B in, in the spot where they overlap. So, which is functionally the same as a plus. And that's a really important thing to know as you start merging things together. And that's why alpha management is very important. All right, so now I'm just gonna roll through them so that you can see what each does in this particular case. We'll start at the top. Another little pro tip, if you select an object in a pull down menu, you can then use the arrow keys to step through each option in that menu. So this is mask, this is an important one. And mask is basically taking the alpha from the A side and cutting the B side with it. So you can see we have the outline of the A, but the image input from the B. We'll look at stencil as well, because that's the inverse. Stencil is taking the alpha from the A and cutting that out of the B side input. And these two you'll use regularly. Next up is under. Under is the opposite of over in that it takes the A input and puts it underneath. This is a really important one too because I see a lot of people use over and just invert their inputs. But again, using under lets you maintain a B-side connection across everything. Next up we have plus, which is our big one. And then we've got a few others. We'll just tap through them. And you can recreate this and play with this script later and kind of see how these are operating with each other. All right, so that covers merge operations and the math behind merging.